What's up, A gang? We are back at it again with another freaking podcast. This time, you know what, y'all? I purposely did this. I purposely did not have a conversation with you prior, yeah. just so it can be raw okay. and like you know. I was wondering what the topic was gonna be, but okay. Is I have not planned. I did not do any planning or like. I love I'm that. winging this. I love that. I wing all. So, what is your name? I am Diamond. Everybody calls me Dime. Better known as Dime Galore <laughs> on social media. Yay! <laughs> so this is the first person I've had on a podcast that I don't know in real life. All the other people was my friends, y'all, because them was the only ones that I was comfortable with talking to Yeah. in real life. Um, I don't know if y'all know, but I am not a people person. I know it seems... Different, oh, really? no, because it's different when you're doing like TikToks and YouTube. You're not talking you to a talking to yourself. You're talking to yourself, okay, so it's yeah, easy. So I'm not a people person, but once I get to know you, oh uh, yeah, it's okay. you know it's turned up. So this is okay. the first guest that we got that was not a friend of mine, but she is really big on TikTok and Instagram, and I see you started YouTube. Oh yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> YouTube is a different ball game. YouTube is just like YouTube is just <laughs> YouTube. I don't I don't know what to do with it. Like it's it's recording video. It's the editing. Okay. It's the editing. You can record the videos. I have tons of videos that I have not edited at all. Like really? I have paid someone to come with me to Houston with my friends to record the Are you entire serious? time. I pay for her hotel, her flight. I pay her for the trip. Just me to do nothing with the videos. Girl, I'm going to help you. From Friday to Sunday, <laughs> I had videos. We're not throwing content away. It's, <sighs> I'm going to have to say previously, y'all. Like, I'm, I'm going to have to say Seriously, it's not as hard. And it might not be that it's hard. It might be that you just don't have time. Is it the time or is it just you not really knowing how to put the content together? It'd be like... It's like sometimes I have the time. Right now I don't have the time. Right. So that's why I haven't did nothing. Like I try to, if I'm doing my heart, oh, I'll come make this YouTube content. Yeah. But normally with like YouTube with me, when I edit my YouTubes, and this is why I tell everybody, I literally put all the content in there. Like I'll drop it in. I use um, Final Cut Pro. Okay. But recently I downloaded CapCut. That's what I've been using. Game changer. Like, really? oh my God. You do it on your laptop or your phone? On my laptop. So I, am, I need to switch. I need to get off my phone. That's what it was with me. I cannot edit on my phone. I got to get off my phone. Yeah. On the laptop, CapCut. And Final Cut Pro is still really good, but CapCut, it just has a little bit more for a, that we can yeah. find useful for videos. But I just upload everything in the software. Like, I'll just put it all in there and I'll literally just go through and watch all of it, cut what I need to cut out. And then when you go in between scenes, I just put like a, a transition where it just like, it's a simple transition. It's literally where it uh, fades out and it yeah. fades into the next scene. It's myself just go cut, cut, <laughs> cut, cut. The person was here now there. Like, <laughs> is it like, damn, is it a different day? Like, like <laughs> hair be trying, I, yeah, I did that before. I just didn't care. I was like, you you want the video or not? But I mean, I do got to make it better. I got to. You learn as you go too. You you got to just do it, and then you'll pick up new techniques along the way. It's definitely been on my my phone. That's why. really. I gotta. I'll get off that. That's, you, I'm, that's my thing. After this whole book thing, I'll. Yeah. I gotta get this stuff over with. That's that's the way I'm. The book, on. y'all. She is. You when oh the book drops. The book drops next Friday, March 8th. Uh, but what is it called? I know, but... Bad Habits Equals Bad uh, Business. What is it about? Oh, God. Give us a spoiler. <laughs> um, Bad Habits bad Equals Bad Business is about, like, basically removing your bad habits to prevent mm -hmm. running a bad business. Mm. And I... Yeah. You've... Uh, me too. It's like the, the whole business thing and partying and then making money but then spending that money but forgetting you have to keep exactly. going at your business to make more money right like the distractions were yeah endless. like i have been on so many cleanses because Are of this serious? stuff like so many like i don't this is my third cleanse but this one was more like a health thing okay like, so I, I did i added like being vegetarian okay also oh, you vegetarian now for 90 days not for forever <laughs> like i cannot wait 
I how many, how much wait. longer you got? Into April 3rd. So my book launch party, I will be sober. Doing an open bar. That's so dope, though. That's so dope. How old are you? <laughs> 26. I'll be 27 in May. That's so dope. You, you, ugh, child, when I tell you when I was 26, girl, I was somebody. Well, I know you, you have a daughter. But I was like literally somebody's mama and stay-at-home wife, but we wasn't married. Oh. Yeah. yeah. It was almost like I was a single... Mary, but not married mom, if that makes sense. Hey, that makes sense. A single married mom. Like, there's a such thing as being a single Mary mom because you have a husband who work, 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 and he's like, well, I put you in a position where you can be a stay-at-home mom for a reason. Yeah. You're going to take care of these kids. Yeah. But it was like I had to do everything by myself. Doctor's appointments. Uh, I mean, he was there for, like, the important stuff, sports, parent-teachers yeah. conference. He didn't miss that type of stuff, but everything else. Cooking like, dinner. Me, 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 me. Yeah. yeah. So at your age, I wish I was where you are now. I'm playing catch-up. How, how many kids did you have at 26? Three. Three? Oh, all three? Oh, wow. I had three kids by the time I was 23. My first one was ni at 19, then the second one was at 20, and the third one was at 23. Crazy. Yeah. I, if I had to do it over again, I'd do it the same way. Like, yeah, I don't, I don't, my daughter, she just, that's good for right now. Like, you don't want no more kids? Um, no. <laughs> kids are overrated. No. I went to a, a Okay, this is why I sound crazy. I went to a psychic. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wow. And um, I went to Del Mar Loop, actually. Really? I to, it was a, um, I just went with this this guy just because. Right. Okay, well, the first time I went, to, I got a read, it was by my friend. Me and my daughter's father, we went to get a reading. I don't know why we decided to get a reading that time. Really? But she, and I was pregnant, but no one knew. And she oh. said it during the, um, during the read. I was like, she said, well, this car says you're pregnant, but that's, that can't be right. So let me shuffle them. I was like, we was like, oh my god! Wow, she loved it. Every time she talks about her tarot card, she brings it up because she was right. And it was, really, it was crazy. Damn, how old is your daughter? Um, she'll be five in July. So she won't start kindergarten until this. She'll, yeah, she'll start this August. This this I can't August. Wait. I know. Does she go to daycare? No. Uh, yeah, good. Yeah, it's just I don't. Oh, daycares are crazy. Like I get some people, they you you know what I'm saying. There's yes, no yes. other option but to do daycares, but daycares is I never do it again. That's why I was telling people I was like I feel like me putting her in daycare would be a little selfish because she yeah. don't need to be in daycare. So yeah, she was like, oh she have to meet friends. Oh, she gonna meet them regardless because she gotta go to school. But right. She'll be fine. I don't want her to go yet. We cool. It's she's so us. stinking cute. I see it when you put her on a video. She's so I'm like, oh, she's so stinking cute. It's just us. We be chilling. We be chilling. Like, I love that it's just us. I can't imagine it being me, her, and somebody yeah. else. I cannot imagine. You really? I cannot. Like, that's the hard thing for me to yeah. process. Like, being in a relationship. It, like So, no dating? Not right now. I don't okay. date on my cleanses. I don't date. Okay. Okay. Takes none of that on my cleanses. But I'm at the point, and I did say I'm going to work hard and try right. celibacy after really? my cleanses. Yeah. That's like a good. Hey, I would. Like it's 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 just something because I'm not a. I don't care for the whole yeah relationship thing. But then again, I have never been courted. Got so you. Okay. I feel like I feel that way as like the probably defense mechanism yeah. to be like. It's same same way how people be like, I never pay two thousand oh dollars for a bag, and it's like that's because you don't have two thousand dollars to spend on a bag. Never said it in my life. I don't care how much money I did have. I knew for a fact when I got some money, I was every everybody was gonna know. Was, you go, you go see it. That's how the fun police is. Like the fun police, when we shopping, he wants to know how will other people know what this is. I be having to tell him, baby, the people you want to know, they know. Yeah, like he yeah. got, he need a red bottom. He need a logo on the side. He needs something. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I feel it like and then with all the dupes out I be like damn I gotta find something that don't look dupey like me I'm okay like it's so much stuff that I wear that you people probably wouldn't even really but the people who know know but people who don't know no better they wouldn't think and that's another thing I hate when people be like um, people with money don't spend their money on stuff like that. Yes, the hell like they do. You just can't tell because you don't know what it exactly. is. Exactly, they're not flashy. Exactly, exactly. They, 
they might be walking around with a hundred dollar t shirt, like literally a white t shirt that they spent the hundred dollars on. Or a thousand dollars. I seen a Louis Vuitton white t shirt. The the logo was L V and white too. Seven hundred dollars. Yeah. I'm like the people people with money, they they spend their money. They just y'all don't realize what they spending their money on. And people have their thing. Yes, I like, they, they I feel like they just trying to and it's never it's always towards black women. It, I agree. it always is like Right. We can't live like either it's fake. Yep. Or we in debt. We we in debt. <laughs> like we spend all our last to do things or or somebody is taking care of us. Exactly. Or, oh my god, I hated that. I had yeah. a family member did that to me before. Are you serious? Yeah. What was they They were just so basically I I don't have a problem with paying for things right. when I'm with like family or friends yeah. because like I want everybody to have a good time, but right. I know that I'm not struggling financially. So if if I can just if we go out yeah. and I can cover something, I don't mind doing right. it. Right. So I did that for my family recently, and then another family member. I guess we had already had plans, so nobody else could tag along. Okay. So she basically, oh well, maybe because basically everybody had already put their money in for the event. Right. But I just said, oh, it's Christmas time. It's about yeah. New Year's. Right. I'll just cover the rest of the cost for everybody. Like yeah, I didn't go. Yeah, yeah, I covered everything. Yeah. Like I just told my cousin who was in charge of everything, I would just pay it, blah, blah, blah. Right. And then my other cousins, I guess they wanted to come, but I didn't like it wasn't enough room at that at that point. Like I got you, yeah. So I, I don't know if they felt slighted by me saying they couldn't uh. come. So they went to the one that was in charge of everything. It was like, I better make sure that she's not getting it for free. And you better make sure that like she's not take keeping y'all money. Cause like what? Some, it was like, yeah. Or they suggest that somebody's taking care of me. Like, I feel like people find it crazy to that my mom is the one that has the child with the money. I don't, I really uh, think it's about, I don't think it's about me. I think it's about my mom. Okay. So I feel like they like her, she raised her and then it's like. Uh, okay. It's more hating on her than I feel like it is. It's on you. I on got me. you. But, I got you. Yeah, that's crazy. Because even on social media, that's why I stopped doing the what I spend in a day. And then even with the day in 60 second videos, I stopped doing those because the only ones that did well was the ones I was money. spending money yes. while I was buying bags and shoes and stuff like that so I'll do them but I'm just not showing that stuff because it was always the slick comments of oh I wish I had your life but then you have somebody respond to them don't wish for their life because you don't know how much debt they're in and like, or they'll like, say you know her husband's money and it was like yeah there was a time where he carried the family but baby don't get it twisted like, <laughs> I, I looked don't. at how much I made from just social media last year and I was like okay shit I'm about to pass you my what's nigga the, what's the respect, honey? <laughs> <laughs> and then you're gonna be able to retire from police. I'm gonna take care of you. So, yeah, I That's hate when they just yeah, I hate that. assume that you're either in debt, somebody's taking care of you, and shit. Sometimes they might be thinking you selling a little. Mm. They're gonna always think that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. They're gonna always think that. Even it was a point in time where I was um, dealing with someone yeah. who, well, everyone thought had money. Got you. But he really didn't. <laughs> I found out at the wrong point in time. You had a legion. <laughs> Ain't that his name? Yes. Like, <laughs> But everybody thought my lifestyle was being funded by this person. Like, anything I got, everything I did, everybody was like, oh. Yeah, yeah. No, like. But he ain't had nobody. No, like. <laughs> and it's okay to. See, I'm not single. I've never been single. Me and the Fun Police been together since I was 18. So he was my first and only real relationship. So I never know, like, from other single women point of view, like, could you date somebody that's not at least on the same playing field as you? I'm not saying he has to make more money, but at least, like... He has to make more money. He has to make more? He has to make more money than me. I don't see nothing wrong with that. Me, me personally. Just, I have created a life for myself. Yeah. That regardless if I'm with you, I would do good. Right. So I, I'm not going. Yeah. I'm not going to be with somebody I got to split the bills with. Like, oh no, I ain't If we're making the same amount of money, then it's like you can't really splurge. Yeah. Because too much you you finna be under me <laughs> so you just, that's true you have to make more like yeah i keep saying like but like <laughs> it's all right you just and that's why i know that i can't like date right now like right i keep saying like but i, I talk about this a lot and people be like oh i'm shallow or what about 
emotionally, like, emotionally, I would cry. <laughs> right. If you, I'm I'm, gonna, if I was single, and I, I'd never speak on it because I'm not single, so is people always say what they would do yeah. and say they in the situation, but me personally, I don't see myself ever dating. If I had to go into the dating world, anybody that makes under what I make, even I would say they would at least have to be on the same playing field yeah. with the potential of being able to do more. I, I, could, I could see that for sure. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not going 50-50. I ain't, I ain't never, fun police ain't never made me lift a finger when it comes to paying a bill, uh-huh. baby. I don't know what it's like to pay a bill. <laughs> do I contribute? Yeah, but I ain't, it ain't no every month I'm putting this amount towards the mortgage or I'm paying I'm this, I'm paying. Nah, we, he always has been the the person to take care of everything. I just, I, and I've done that, like, with uh, my daughter's father it was, Everything 50-50, yeah. every, every bill split, every... And I had always had more than him. Mm. So we was always going 50-50, but his 50 was all... Was, I got was you. Was everything. Like, I got you. So, and then I, it would come off as unappreciative when it came to, like, gifts and oh. holidays. Because here I am spending my money on... Right. Expensive purses Right, and but he ain't got... He ain't and got then it when to it's spend. Time, every, every holiday, birthday, it's like... It's like he got angry at the fact that he couldn't. Are you serious? Yes. Like That's we, it never failed that we got into it around holidays. Are you serious? Yeah. Never because he says it's like I can't buy you what you wear or I can't buy you what you right. like. Right. Yeah. Well, you know what? I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take back what I said about not going fifty fifty. How we have always done it is everything goes into one one place. So what he makes, what I make, it goes into one place, and from that place, everything gets paid. But the reason why I say I wouldn't go, I'd never go 50 50 is because even if I don't have anything to put in that place, it's still gonna get paid. everything's still going to get yeah. paid. So I get that. Uh, so I am contributing, obviously, because I have an income now. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I'm so proud of my little <laughs> real, I bet. <laughs> <They're> so independent. <laughs> I be so proud of all my little buddy. I be texting him like, I be keeping track too. Like, this how much I made so yeah. far. He be, yeah, for boss. <laughs> you gonna be able to retire in a minute, baby. Uh, but yeah, so everything goes into one pot. Everything gets paid out of there. But I, if if, cause you know with the social media stuff, like it's it's a it's a business. Yeah. So some months is really good. Some months is really yeah. bad. So if I don't put anything in that pot, everything still gets paid with no problem. Um, and I was about to ask you something, and I didn't got sidetracked. It see, this is why I need to be prepared. <laughs> this is why it's gonna come back up. Yeah, it's gonna come back up. But I wouldn't be me if I came if I came in with like a piece it, of paper I, with I, questions I, I, and stuff. No, I feel that <laughs> it would not be me. I feel that. I just when I when I do start um, dating again. It, it really has to be like above and beyond. Like yes. it has to be, it's just above and beyond. I don't even know right. what I want because right. I haven't seen it, so I can't just say what I want. It just, That's crazy. I heard that the dating scene <laughs> is trash. Like all of my single friends, <laughs> all of my single friends be like, "Girl, ain't nothing out here." Is it just the new age men? Like. I couldn't even see. I have a son. My son is 21. That's crazy that I have a kid that's close to your age. Like, y'all far apart, but y'all are still close enough. The fun police got a kid that's older than you. His oldest is, she had to be like 30 or 31. Oh, so that's crazy. But I couldn't see myself raising my son knowing that he's dating these women and not making sure that yeah. he's doing right. So, funny story. Everybody know that Lyndon is... Lyndon, like Lyndon be in that room. Lyndon don't really fool with people. He's not a people person. He, ha- he had a job and he had a girl that pursued him at this job. So he comes home. He had to be about 17, 18. So he comes home and he's like, uh, Mom, I'm sort of kind of dating someone. And this is where <laughs> I went wrong. I'm like, he's never going to tell me about another girl ever. Because, baby, when I tell you, I flipped. I'm like, what's her name? How she look? I'm looking her up on social media. <laughs> oh, my God. No, you did not. Not with a tool. So I don't know you. 
<laughs> he probably was like, I ain't telling her shit else. So they goes on this date to the mall. And of course, I'm looking at the tracker. I'm like, oh, they still at the mall. They was at the mall for the tracker quite is crazy. <laughs> yeah, I was tracking him, baby. I was trying to see, like, what are they doing? Did they go out to eat somewhere? So he comes home and he said that they had like lunch in the food court. And I'm like, yeah, so did you pay for everything? He was like, no, she paid for it. Baby, when I tell you, I almost <laughs> lost it. I'm like, what do you mean? Oh my he was gosh. like, she insisted. I was like, Linda, I don't care if she insisted. You were supposed to pay. I sent her her money back. <laughs> 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 he was like he didn't think nothing wrong he was like yeah. she insisted i tried to she insisted so so it's like i don't know if we're the problem like the new moms of the upcoming generation if we're the problem where did i go wrong i'm like he sees his dad court his mom 20 years later and you would think that he would just know but maybe i should have had that talk with him before he left like I don't care what she say. Yeah, you pay you for just, it. Just thought he knew, or maybe she was. Who the hell told her to pay for the stuff? Like, who told her maybe to pay for stuff? Maybe, maybe it's her, her mama. Problem. Yeah, like maybe, it's, maybe she's the problem. It wasn't Linda. It wasn't I don't him. Know. Yeah, I, I gotta. Because he probably just didn't want to pressure her into like yeah. not paying for it or right. Or she already had her mind up. He said she insisted. So I don't I don't know how the conversation went, but why was she off for the pay? I don't know, but he was like, he asked me like a week later, he was like, Can, can you break up with her for me? Oh wow. Mind God. you, I have never seen this girl, have never met this girl, have never talked to this She's girl. Like, I just told him, I said, Lennon, the best thing you can do is just be honest. If you're not feeling her that way, just say that. Just say, hey, we can this be friends. That's masculine energy for her paying that uh, bill. I'm I'm telling you. I, I know she probably, <laughs> and she was a cute little redhead girl, and that's a whole different thing. Cause I'm like, <sighs> yeah, uh -huh. and you know like, what? I whisper like, <laughs> <"Mike>, oh, <no." laughs> like the microphone right there. And I make it clear, I don't care. I don't care who they bring home. Oh, I don't God. care. But a part of me would want yeah i'm black love yeah a part of me but yeah. i also understand where i raised my kids shame on me yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the area that i raised them in the school district that they're in it was bound to happen yeah where you where what part of st louis are you from i'm i was born in wilston but okay I like i graduated from normandy high school did you oh so you went to normandy yeah <sighs> <laughs> Damn, I thought Straight. I was bad. Where are you from? Jennings. Oh, I went to Jennings at one point too. Really? Yeah. So I went to Jennings all the way up until my junior year and I transferred to McClure North. So Did I graduated. You back then either? No. That is sick. We used to walk. That is sick. They still walk in. Are you serious? Yes. Jennings do better. Do they and are I think still walking I to think school it, day. One point in time one point in time the teachers was like one of the highest paid teachers. Like in St. Louis or some some crazy stuff, and it was like, but we don't have school buses. They was giving them the school bus money. <laughs> they had to. Man, so yeah, I don't forget where I came from, but um, I'm sure the hell ain't going back there. I'm not going back there at all. I don't go back. I don't go across the bridge. I, I be hanging on choice that my people live <laughs> still live in like, ghetto, you know, but. I mean, I don't think I really go out there for it's probably the beauty spot I be going to. Yes, but other than that, I don't be. I don't be out there. What was the reason? So was it the like? Did you move out this way because of? I just I was at um I left when I then went to college. Okay. So when I went to college, when I came back, it's crazy because we were looking for houses in Florida, like somewhere to be close to like his right. family because they they watch her the most. But we ended up getting the, um our first our house together at O'Fallon. That's where I just came. Well. That's where I was at first. Okay. Like, when I was here, I was at Elf Island. And it was like this, this nice um, big house. Yeah. And like splitting the bills and stuff. Yeah, y'all was chilling. 50-50. <laughs> <laughs> <50. laughs> that 50-50 uh, love. Shit, but that's, I just, we ended up moving to Elf Island. And I, that's why I was like, I'm never going back. Yeah. Like, I don't have no reason to. Yeah. Was that before you had your daughter? No, we, I had my daughter in college. Oh, really? Yeah. That's the only time I end up staying in college. I need the refund check. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the money. <laughs> I don't care about being here. I graduated in general studies. I did not care. I changed my major every year. What school? I went to CMO in Cape Girardeau. Every time a class got harder, I dropped it. And you was like, I'm not doing this. That's, this I got to do what? I got to do how many page papers? No. 
Um, I did one paper and it was three pages. Are you serious? We, cause, cause so much stuff happened while I was in college. We had the, we had a mumps breakout. We had COVID happen. It was, uh, it was something else that happened. I had all that stuff. Even if I did have it, really, I had it. <laughs> I wasn't. Well, at least so. you, at least you made it out. I didn't even made it out, girl. The only thing really? I got is a cosmetology <laughs> license, and I ain't even got that no more because I just stopped renewing it because I don't do hair like that no more. I didn't even know people still need a cosmetology license. And this, this is a long time ago. Oh. This, I had to be about 24, 25. What kind of hair are you doing, girl? Extensions. So my thing was sewings back then. Yeah, yeah. I, used to, I used to do hair for a living. Really? Yeah. I used to own a hair salon and everything in Florissant on Parker Road. Parker and oh, is that Parker and oh? Hall's Ferry or Parker and New Hall's Ferry. You know where the Angelo's Pizza? I don't know if they still there. It's know. like an Angelo's. I know, I know exactly where Parker and uh, New Hall's Ferry is. Yeah. Because you got that it's literally where White that light Castle, is. All this. So, if you come down, yeah, so it's Parker Road and it's right at the light where New Hall's Ferry and Parker Road meet. Yeah, yeah it was right there. What's it? That's not where Miami Grill is. I, I, you know what? I ain't been I over that way in so long. Yeah. 270, 70, and Me 170. So I don't know. <laughs> I don't, I don't be knowing. But yeah, we owned a hair salon for like two years. Girl, it was ghetto. I couldn't do it. I bet that was so funny. It, <laughs> <laughs> girl, I had the girls in the daggone shop mm -hmm. telling the fun police that dudes was calling up there for me. Then I had a oh good friend God. of mine. She was working in there. I leave. They ganging up on her, trying to fight her. It was, girl, the barbers. I think it was the barbers, but I don't know. I, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure it was them. We leave. I leave one night, come back. They had snatched the, the flat screen TVs out off the wall. Like, they didn't even unbolt it. It was like they the snatched. The barbers? Yeah, I, it had to oh. be. It was like, who else was Who's it? Strongest? Yeah. It's like, who else would have known? Because they had to have done it, like, right after I left. Because they had to have known when I left. And I yeah. came back early that next morning. And it was, girl, it was a whole, mm -hmm. I was like, I can't, I was like, this is, this is too ghetto for me. I don't want to do this no more. What? I'm not about they that They stole show. the TV? Yeah, they took them. It was like three flat screen. You know, back then, yeah. that was when flat screen, flat screen TVs first, like, was a big thing. So they were still expensive back then. Now you get a flat screen for $200. Yeah. <laughs> a big ass one. <laughs> no, <for real. laughs> For two hundred dollars, so yeah, I I got out of the business, but I was still doing it from home. That's right, yeah. For the people that I knew like that, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I used to do hair. Um, I used to do a little bit of everything. Everything. I say, I say. It's the ADD. I have to like. Yeah. I, I just had, it, but I hated it on hair. I hated it. Really? I hated it. I hated the process, but I, I love my house, my space. Yeah, the energy. I just hate, but I loved working. People be finding that so hard to be. I loved my nine to fives. I only really? had three jobs. I worked at oh, Schnooks, the grocery store. Uh, I worked at Nordstrom. Oh, I was still, and I got fired. We're not gonna talk. Oh. <laughs> We're not gonna talk about it. Oh. And then I worked at. I um, wish I knew you back then. No, just. <laughs> I was looking people up. You hear me? Damn. They 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 called me a little it. too late. Y'all y'all got that one thing. Oops, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> and then a country club with like. Rich, rich white people. I know somebody else that used to work at a country club, and he absolutely loved it. I loved it. Really? I was a bartender. They just be doing shit. They, I can't even make it. I'm on Google. They ask me for certain drinks. I'm on Google. <laughs> looking to see how to make it. Yep. I need to get <laughs> ate my ADD. I need to stay off TikTok. So I've been looking at videos, and I'm like, am I autistic? Oh my like, it be some videos. Man, I'll oh be like, am God. I a little autistic? Then I thought I was bipolar for a second. Oh my God. Then I'm like, oh, let me just stop looking at these videos. Because I'm weird when it comes to stuff. I'm literally all over the place. Like, I'm one of those people that I think I can do everything. The other day, yeah, I almost I, I applied could. to be a flight attendant. You, what? You get flight attendant. Do I? I see that. Girl. Red lipstick look. You know, <laughs> Just outfit, so you get free flights. flights. <laughs> I'm like, I could be a flight attendant. Then I was like, I'm going to do taxes. I was like, it's tax season. I could do taxes. I do my taxes. I'm going to do taxes. What else? Um, then I feel that. Is it always at nighttime? Yes. I, 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 uh, I sent you a message at nighttime. You did. <laughs> I was laying in the bed. And I was like. Oh, we can do this day on podcast next week. Let me hit her up. It's always at the night. I'm like, then I'm up longer. I'll be like, okay, I'm going to go see that at 12. Yeah. I'll be up to 3 in the morning. I'm like, yeah, I think I'm going to start selling weave again. Yeah. I still have to do a closing line. <laughs> By the time I wake up in the morning, I don't care about none of it. That's I don't me. care. Maybe we both 
fall to yeah. the sea. Like, for real. I'm going to Google. <laughs> you go on Google, they're like, yeah, you're probably going to die in like three months. So, <laughs> have a happy oh, life. Last month, I was on this hunt for raw hair. And I was like, what country do I need to go to? Like, what hut? <laughs> not go to. Literally, <laughs> I was like, I would just fly to the country. Like, oh, that would be fun, though. It would. Fly to another country, find where they're, like, the, like, where they're making the hair. Not making it, mm. but where they cut it off yeah. and they <laughs> stitching it onto the web. That's where I need to go. I want to see that process. So I'm, like, Googling, like, <laughs> where can I get raw hair? And it kept on pulling up, like, companies. I'm like, no. Like, the real stuff. I want the hut. <laughs> The raw hair yeah. countries, like <laughs> I was gonna sell some raw hair, but I was gonna start that business up for Aaliyah, my oh, oldest daughter. Yeah. Um, she has no, <laughs> no desire. I'm like, you finna start this business. <laughs> so be an entrepreneur or anything. I'm like, I'm gonna do all the work for you. It's just I'm gonna put your name yeah. on it. Yeah. And you'll get the money. Cause I'm tired of taking care of you at this point. So yeah, I need to stop looking at TikTok because leave it up to me. I'm I'm gonna be self diagnosed with some shit that I'm gonna be expiring next month or some oh, shit. That's how that's why I can't get on Google. Yeah. I'm like, why am I bleeding? Why why did it start and stop? Girl, you got pancreatic cancer. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Like, like uh, here we go to the doctor. I'm like, damn. And one time I thought I had prank pancreatic because I was drinking too much. But really I just had a, a terrible hangover. Like I was a doctor that was like, yeah, you don't you don't have that. But I just told everybody I got it. <laughs> Everybody who uh, was, I told I got pancreas, I didn't have it. I just, oh I still diagnosed myself and found out I didn't. Oh. Oh, that Sorry. is some funny shit. Boy, Sorry. that is funny as hell. Um, so <laughs> I saw so are you still doing the bonnets? Yes. My that is that is my business. That's why it's so hard to stay on social media because yeah. I have that business. Yeah. That was that was a wild. Really? Like I was so consumed with like, I don't know if that was the right word. <laughs> trying, to, trying to sound smart, wait. <laughs> I was so we're gonna go with it. I already said it. I was consumed with that business for so long and I just thought it was gonna be something that came and went. Like when okay. I first post posted it, it went viral. The oh, very damn. first time I had nothing. I had not a pillowcase, not a bonnet, not a not a scrunchie. Are you I had, serious? But I had two hundred of it in stock. Who does that? Like, but in my head, I have been selling hair. I used to sell hair for a while. Okay. It would do okay, like, but yeah, I was doing yeah. hair too, so it was easier to sell it because I was doing the people hair. Yeah, yeah. But I just, I made the kit for one of my clients who right. was, like, pregnant, like, going through postpartum. So I was like, okay, well, maybe you try this little, this little yeah. satin bonnet, satin right. case. It'll help perform, like, work it. Right. Because I was already doing it. I've been doing that for a long time. Like, okay. that was my thing. I just thought I was being bougie. I was like, you know, I was like, I don't set the pillow, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you all sitting on cotton. Get that. The watch was seven ninety nine on Amazon. <laughs> but it but it's sad. Hey, hey, what? I, I was gonna sleep cute. So I didn't care. <laughs> but then she asked me, so I gave it to her. But um I always, I always had the bundle bag as my thing. Yeah. So it always came in the money bag. Like I was selling my bundles in the money bags. Okay. So then she gave me good feedback on it. I literally one day I was about to go to um the movies. Yeah. And then I just like, oh, let me post this real quick. Right. So I just explained the kit, posted it, it got, got on social media. Came out the movie theaters, 200 orders exact. Are you serious? Well, not a damn thing. It's like, look at God. Like, literally, like, that's how I felt. Everybody's like, when is it back in stock? I'm like, wait. <laughs> it's not in <laughs> stock, like, technically. What do you like, mean free, back? Free available. Everybody pre ordered. Oh, Everybody that's dope, though. That's dope. And then it just, it's just. That's what happens it when you just slow down so quick. Like TikTok marketing is like a hit or miss. So yeah, it's like once they see your video and yeah. then they don't know more, they forgot about yep. it. Like they're not gonna come back and look for it. I didn't have no no marketing where they can like SMS text, yeah, yeah. no email, no nothing. So <sighs> then I kept doing more. Then I started making like little commercials. Yeah, and, like I used to make rap videos. Oh my god, I gosh. seen those. <laughs> then I then I stitch one. It was something I stitched. I so. It was during the Christmas, not this past Christmas. Yes, I remember. Yes, I was like, everybody, if y'all can. That's, that's when I had to start my cleanse. After, really? Once I did that, I was just, 
My life was so consumed with bouncing ass. Over my life. <laughs> I love it. Like it I was, love it. It was a terrible. Like back then, I would have convinced you that I was living my best life. Really? I would. I was like, yeah, this is the life I'm living. Yeah, I'm with somebody that that's paying for stuff, oh. but still dealing with other people. But in my head, I'm like, I don't care. I don't want a relationship. Just naive. Oh my god. So I was and I was partying, but I was like, like so that when I was like, like hit everybody up and was like, oh, yeah, yeah, this shit's because I had did no marketing for Black Friday. And you was like, oh, shit. Yeah. Like, I was, okay, I was, it was right. the day of or the day before. I was yeah, like, hey, it please. literally was. And you, But you understood the assignment, though. And I say that because when you reached out, it was like, how much, like, I'll pay you, you know. And, of, of course, I'm like, I'm not going to damn charge her to <laughs> stitch this. Like, I I'm going to stitch it. Because I'm like, she from St. Louis. She's a black girl. You young. You doing your thing. Like, I always like, you know, the young black people. I always like to see them you know yeah. striving and doing great so of course i was gonna share it um and tell everybody else i feel bad because i have not purchased oh only God. because okay. to my defense only because i don't wear bonnets it's okay like i, I don't I, i'm not a bonnet person i don't like stuff on my head so okay. i'm not a bonnet person so that's the only reason why i hadn't but okay. <laughs> but i should have just to support because sometimes that's all it is no, it's and, okay I, I i get it like i don't even with like you have friends here, you have everybody who's doing something, right? Like, but just because, right? That I mean, I don't. I'm not proud of you and stuff like that. It's just yeah. Her lashes look better than yours, so I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. And you friend. know what? I've we've had to do that too. Um, Leah. So my oldest daughter, she's a wig wearer, and I have a cousin that slays. Baby, when I tell y'all, she slays a wig. But my daughter prefers how somebody else does yeah. it. So I hope you know they never look at our video and they see that she just got a new install and like well, she ain't hit me they up. <laughs> And it's it, it's like it's not me, it's her. Like she's twenty. Yeah. Like, like if I was to get my hair done, I would, I would be going to you. Yeah. But it's not, exactly. It's not my so yeah, I get it. But I always like to um to support because I used to complain about people not supporting me, and then mm. I realized that I'm part of the problem because I wasn't supporting other people. It, <laughs> so yeah. it's like, how do you expect other you know people to support you when you're not? being supportive that's how i felt about this whole book launch thing really so but for real everybody who i did support it's not coming oh i'm never doing it again because same. it's 25 dollars. same and i've been putting more money in certain people's pockets so it's just like bitch <laughs> but i'm it, coming don't let me forget because oh, yeah. is it a is it a, like a site to go on to get tickets yeah, it's just um is the link still in my bio I think so. Yeah, it's just okay. It's like to get and I'm a, if y'all in St. Louis, I'ma link your stuff in the description of this video. How long you be? How quick you be finishing this? Girl, whenever the conversation is over. Oh, for real? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't hear that. See you in two weeks. <laughs> whenever the conversation, I probably will. I probably won't post it until. Maybe Monday, Tuesday ish. A good day where people are not doing. Yeah, much and can watch it. yeah. yeah. I kind of like gauge it. But if y'all in St. Louis and y'all do want to go to the events, make sure y'all buy tickets. Make sure y'all support her book and the bonnet. I am so proud of you though. Yeah. Like I saw you. I have this thing where I see people on social media and I see their potential. Yeah. All the time, like I'll see people before they. And I think by the time I saw your uh, page, you you had a good amount of following. Yeah. Um. <laughs> but I saw the potential. I was like. Oh, she about to blow up and I be trying to follow before they blow up so I can be like <laughs> I was I there it. <laughs> I was there before she blew up um and I when I seen your video I was like oh yeah she finna blow up and she from St. Louis it be, it, be, it be rare so like when I see you from St. Louis too, I was like wow I, I don't be coming across any me either from St. Louis. me either probably like no none like especially in the, the over 500,000 yeah yeah Getting brand deals, right? And it's it's very rare, but that's what I invited. Like, I reached out to a lot of content creators, yeah, yeah. influencers, entrepreneurs, business owners. Yeah, I reached yeah. out to them like, hey, we, I'm having an event, right? And like most of them are coming, so okay. I was happy about that. Yay. So I'm like, I get to outside meet people of, that I don't. Yeah, so see. some influencers outside of St. Louis. Did oh, they? some of them are yeah too. Like the ones I hang out with, oh. um, um, Kill Mani, Daisha, um, they're coming. Who else coming outside of St. Louis? Oh, I forgot. <laughs> Oh, oh well. You don't see them there, right? 
<laughs> See, I'll be, wanting for, I'll be wanting other influencer friends. And I know, because I had thought about reaching out to you before I even started a podcast. But I'm like, oh, she's younger. Oh. And even though I am older, I am so immature. But oh <laughs> I'm so immature. I am 40. You can swear that I'm about 25, like mentally. I mean, not for real, but like. You about to be 40? I'm 40 already. Oh, wow. I turned 40 this past September. Are you a Virgo? Yes. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Virgo! But I'll be like, where are the other influencers? I reached out to some influencers before, and they didn't respond to me. And I was like, I felt some type of way about that. I didn't unfollow them, although I wanted to, because I'm like, am I weird? No, they <laughs> are. People, oh my gosh. I have met so many people. Yeah. And it has been terrible experience are you serious absolutely influences are very you just have different types which you you don't really know because right have this persona on social that's social true media. i have been around influencers who look like they're living a life and are cheap it's really when I say it's hell like or they're wearing dupes like you you would think oh. and i only found that out because we had the same purse that's the only way i found oh. out and I know for a fact my one. Oh. I know for a fact mine was the right one. See, that's why I don't buy dudes. Because I be like, it's going to be somebody that's going to be able to tell. She was like, twins. I was like, ah. Not maternal, really. Maternal twins. Not really. Not really. Sisters, not twins. <laughs> hey, cousins. It, was, it wasn't a good one at all. And they, they just have like this attitude of, like one of the girls I was around, she yeah. just had this, people would come up to me, oh, I know you're from social media. Right. People, be, people think because they have a lot of followers, people know them. I had people be like, "Oh, I recognize you by your voice." The people were like, oh, okay. I turned around. They was like, "I knew, I, I knew your voice sound familiar." Got you. Yeah. Or, I don't wear makeup all the time, so they know how I look without makeup. Right. With makeup. Right. Like just. Yeah. Some people' personalities are fake. Too. I'm like, it's just a lot. Ah. Uh, like, I have, I have hated most of the influence I've been around. Did not like them. Two people I actually do like. They are um, older, but like by a year or two. Okay. But uh, well. Two years, one two years older, one three or four years older. Okay. But um, it's just, I don't, I hate the influencers. I do. Damn. I hate them. Damn. They, they have this attitude know. like they're better than, uh, and not even better than me. Like, it's like they gravitate towards me. They, okay. They like me. Okay. But then I see the way they treat other people. Uh, and that's what be like. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna need for you to humble yourself. Like yeah, I'm gonna need for you to humble yourself. Cause I love it when, and even the fun police, he'll catch it sometimes. Like if people, cause we literally can't go no damn where, which is crazy to me. Even still, it's crazy. it be like y'all. I am not this interesting. I, I it's promise crazy. you. It is crazy. Yeah, like even out here going to like the Walmart, and yes, I'm like looking crazy. crazy. And they like, like can I take a picture? It's crazy. Yeah. So sometimes I can be in the zone, and I am, you know, in La La Land. 99% of the time. So I'm in a zone in La La Land. And it can be people that's like, oh my God, I think that's the girl from TikTok. Yeah. I just act like I'm here. You gotta, you gotta say something. I to never me. hear it though. Just, the fun I'm police be sometimes. like, yeah, them girls behind you, they, they yeah, know you from TikTok. <laughs> and he'll like yeah. check me because I'll just be like, oh, okay, keep going. And he'll be like, you could have turned around and said yeah, something. You know what I'm saying? They, they be on their phones trying to figure out, like, is that her? They be looking, like, doing this. He's like, you can just. But I'll be like, I was just in La La Land. Like, I didn't, I didn't mean no harm. I'm just like, Trying to get these groceries right quick. I be waiting till they say something. I'm like, yes, me. You, <laughs> you, you see me. So I be trying not to do that. So I just wait until they say something. Or yeah, I, if I see them again, I, like I was at um a, a hookah lounge for my friend's birthday. This yeah, yeah. And I saw a group of girls, and I could tell they, I could tell they recognized me. So before I left, I just gave them a compliment. They was like, oh, thank you. Oh, love your TikTok that so was, much. That, that I was, was cool. Like, that was cool. Good night. Like just so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's, it's never really. I've, I've never had a a weird encounter. <laughs> I've had a friend of mine be weird to someone. Really? Yeah. Like in a bad way. Yeah. <sighs> and I couldn't. And then I didn't notice it because I went to. Um, dang, if I say that, if I say where I went, everybody gonna know what friend it is. Oh. <laughs> I went somewhere with this person and like. Basically, they, they want to take pictures with me right. and the group. Man, I can't even say it. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Basically, he, he kind of like gets off on attention. Okay. So, people come to me all the time. Oh, let's take pictures, blah, blah, blah. I'll take pictures with him. Right. 
he he starts going up to people like, let's take a picture, let's, and then tag me on Instagram. Yeah, weird. Uh, so then, um, I guess he said it to one of the girl who yeah she, she ended up DMing me. She he said it to one of the girls. She was like, oh no, I'm okay. Yeah. He said you look a mess, anyways. Ah, oh, god dang it, friend! You shouldn't have done that. It was like, Dang. oh my god, and I didn't, I didn't know. Yeah, that was a terrible weekend. Like I had already had my thoughts about this person. Yeah, before the weekend, like even right. You know how you just ask God for a sign. Let, let me know who's not supposed to be around yeah. me. Yeah. So that weekend, it was a terrible weekend. Okay. And then I, I still was like, okay, whatever. Right. Because sometimes I, I used to think like, if, oh, if they don't do it to you, then right. Like, it ain't my business. You know, like, that's how I used to feel about yeah. stuff. Yeah. But then, like, she did, I just started having to check my, um, she wrote me probably the day after the event. Okay. And by the see it's like a week later. Okay. So then I checked my, um, I was just going through my, um, my hidden request. Right. And I ended up seeing it. And, like, she Dang. sent a voice memo at that. Like, she didn't just send, like, a message. Oh, so she was serious. Like, oh, she was like, hey. And then, like, you could tell, like, her voice, like, real soft. And all the time, like, she didn't know if she should say something. But I sent her a voice message back. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm glad you told me that. Right. Like, like, because he was weird as fuck the whole time. Uh, so I'm just, so now I just don't talk to him. Because that's bad on me. Yeah, like, yeah. That makes you look, that makes you look kind of, kind of so messed up. I just, I don't. Thank God I've already, since I am 40, I've had a long time to, like, get rid of the bad people that was in my circle. So the people that are, that are in my circle have been there forever. Like, my best friend has been my best friend since, like, third or fourth grade. Ooh. So forever. And she, people notice her even because she's in videos. Yeah. She's been on the podcast. People would say something to her like, oh, my God, you're best friend. Not often, <laughs> but it has. Yeah. It has happened. But, baby, she, she, she going to go to... You step to me, or you doing something yeah. that she ain't comfortable with, she flipping out. Like, she's that friend. And then I have another friend that's the same I'm way. That <laughs> I have another friend that's the same way that I'll be like, girl, I can fight my battles. I promise. I ain't never had a fight before, but I think I'll do good. Yeah. I think I'll be fine. Uh, <laughs> I got muscles. <laughs> I used to be a body bitter. Like that hit. Yeah. If I hit somebody, it's probably gonna be hard. Like I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. It's, it's all about not being scared. That's really all it's about. <laughs> you gotta put your mind to it. I don't know. I think the scared people is the ones that that you gotta be scared of. Cause ain't no telling what they do. Cause they it's fear. Yeah. I, I, I would say all the fights I had. I didn't. I ain't gonna lie. I have. I've had a lot of. Fights. Are you serious? I had a lot of fights. That's crazy. Though I'm from this, Jennings and I ain't had no fight. Right here. Uh. -huh. It's very recent. Like. I had that fight in 2022. Oh. This year. Oh, damn, it's really 2024. Damn. Um, yeah, we were... Let's get on. Damn. <laughs> we was at I'm a kid's football it. game. Oh, in wow. Summer. A group fight <sighs> between me and my sisters and then my oh. brother's ex-wife. Sister... Oh, it was a brawl. It that was so good. And then like. I, the, um, the ex wife sister beat me off, beat my face. Yes. So that's where That is gross. That is gross. I went to go get a tetanus shot. Yeah, I went to go get that's, I couldn't. I went to three appointments to make sure because, you know, sometimes it takes a while. Yeah. So. I couldn't imagine putting my mouth on somebody and biting them. Like. Sometimes you get beat up, you gotta. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta do what you can do. <laughs> That I ain't never, I've never been in a fight, but I have had a situation where somebody did attack me from behind. And of course I fought back, yeah. but you really can't, you can't get yeah. into it like you, you, you need to get in. Me. Yeah, like, and I ain't going to even speak on it because, you know, it, it might stem up some other stuff if I even speak on that. But it was a, a, a bitch move. Yeah, it was basically. What? Yeah, it was my back. To, my back to you, and you come in, and then. But you know what? With this social media stuff, it gets dangerous because, like, and that's another reason why I stopped doing the what I spend in a day and things yeah. like that oh because of my kids. So. Both or all of my kids except for Lyndon because Lyndon is so low maintenance. He's Lyndon don't he don't care about name brands like he don't know what that stuff is. <laughs> he don't care for it. Lyndon has had the same vehicle since he turned 16. We have tried to get that dude to trade that car in for something else. He's like, no, for what? Like nothing's nothing's Damn. wrong with my car. Like and people on social media be like, 
Lee and Lexi, they got high end cars and oh linen down. It's like yeah. this, he don't want one. Like, but both of my girls, Leah drives a Mercedes, Lexi drives a BMW, and then I'm taking them shopping. So they have handbags. They have, yeah. they wear the Balenciaga sneakers and all of these things. And when I realized that it was an issue, was when they went to the Chris Brown concert and a chick literally tried to bully them out of their seats that I paid my hard-earned money for, and when they wouldn't let up, she attacked them. What? Yes. Like, tried to fight them? Fought over them. They see, over their seats? Fought them, yes, over their seats. Like, Leah had on what the little Fendi, is it Fendi? Or is it uh, Versace? Little bralette mm -hmm. with the little Versace. Um, Going around the little trim. Yeah, yeah. ripped her her little bra it she didn't like rip it to where her boobs was yeah. showing or anything but ripped her bra uh lexi tried to push because she attacked Aaliyah first the oldest lexi tried to jump in and like push the woman off. this is a woman this is a woman in her mid-20s at that time lexi was 15 or was she? Leah, Lexi might have been 16, 16, 17, 18. No, oh Lexi was 15 and Leah was 18. And this is a 20 some year old woman. But Lexi tried to push her off and she grabbed Lexi's hair. So Lexi like went with her when she pushed her. Long story short, the, the uh, security came and had to like pull her off and like slam her onto the ground to I get her so bad. yeah I, I hope, I hope. <laughs> so somebody who knows us from social media saw it it go you know it happened and yeah. the mom like grabbed my two girls and pulled them in the booth they had like one of those yeah. little booths or whatever in with them and then my friend Ashley she was there so she went and got them from the booth and Ashley like where she at where she no, at she real. still over here where she at for real so oh we gosh. pressed charges and everything and she had been going back and forth to court for a while and I'm like, she, they kept on continuing it. And I'm like, if if her ass don't go to court, I'm going to have to put her on blast. Like, who cousin yeah. is this? Get y'all cousin. Because I'm going to need for her to come fight me at this point. But just a couple of days ago, I looked on CaseNet and it showed that they gave her probation mm. for six months. But I'm like, I mean... It's just assault, but my whole thing is you assaulted a minor yeah, it's not, at that. Yeah. But, yeah, and she's she not even from here. She's from some part of Illinois. But long story short, the reason why I said all that is because that just goes to show how much hate somebody yeah. can have for you and not know you just from what they see on social media. So I'm like, now I feel like my kids, you know, their safety yeah. is at risk. So I'm like, I'm going to stop sharing so much of, you know, the that type of that stuff. Yeah. It be I'm not even gonna lie. <laughs> I be wanting to like do the whole like super expensive jewelry. Yeah. And stuff like that. But I know St. Louis. Yeah. Like mm -mm. I still go to ghetto play. That's why I don't even like going out in St. Louis. No yeah. But what I do, I would I probably just would have to pick what I wear yeah. and stuff like that better. But I when I bought my Chanel bag, mm. I was gonna go out and <laughs> I just couldn't do it. <laughs> I, was hey. like, I was like, I don't even want to take this in the club. Like, hell no. When you buy that, when you and it's like, it's like not only did it's like they know it's not fake because I already put it on social media. Exactly. Me going to the store, exactly. So they like already exactly. know exactly that I'm actually getting this right. stuff. So it's just even when I moved houses, I could not like the friend I had. I don't even want to talk about that. <laughs> when I moved houses, I just didn't want anybody knowing where I was staying. Yeah, at. like the people who know where I stay is because. I've known them for a long time. Yeah. Like the people I've known for a long time. It is so hard for me to break away from them because they just knew me before any of this. The social media. Yeah. So, like, so not, they know you know you. They know me, so it's not. It's not. I'm not worried about what yeah. they want from me. Exactly. Because they know me, and they're not around for the wrong reasons. Like they. Right. They cool, but these new people, like yeah. Everybody who always pocket watching. Yep. And all this other stuff, like my, I'm gonna talk about it. <laughs> But baby, when you when you step up and you bet you buy that Chanel, cause you can get like the little three thousand yeah. dollar, four thousand dollar. But when you get into the ten k plus, <laughs> walking out that mall, I was so happy when I got my first Chanel. I was down there skipping. We was in Vegas, Ooh. skipping out the mall. I, I was in Vegas. skipping out the mall. You know what I'm saying? Get to that Ooh. hotel. I'm like. I just spent over $10,000 for one purse. What the hell? Like, girl, if you don't take that purse back. <laughs> it's like, that was a uh, uh, buyer's remorse. I had to. Like, 
I was I worked so hard that year. Yeah. I knew it. I was like, I'm gonna go to Chicago. Yeah. I'm gonna give me I wanted a one go yard bag, one Chanel bag. I, okay. I wanted it in white bag and just doing a classic. Day. Okay. I was I ain't never been happy to spend that much money. I was happy. I ain't gonna lie. I was Girl, I was sweating. I got back to the hotel. I'm, I just stared it out the legs. <laughs> I was a little drunk too, so that's probably why I was like, yeah. <laughs> I really was. That's exactly how. And I had bought some earrings too, and I left them at the hotel. They said they said they couldn't. Nobody was in there. They what was they Chanel earrings? Yes. Oh damn. And I, I tried to file like an insurance claim. Yeah. At the hotel. And I was just like, no. Ah, so when you, <laughs> so when you have, when you're a homeowner and I don't know, and I can look into it and see, but I know when you're a homeowner with your insurance on your house, you can't add expensive items oh, yeah, absolutely. on there yep. as a scheduled item. Like all of my expensive stuff over, like anything over around 2000, 2500, it is scheduled on yep. my insurance policy. So I had somebody, this was a while ago. I was at Creevecore Park and I had a crossbody, my first Louis Vuitton. So it's the one thing that y'all don't know about me is we've been comfortable financially for a while but I never was a high spender because I had kids yeah. and, I, and they just needed stuff all the time it was like god damn I can't spend no money on my like you need some new shoes already but I wasn't I, right, I wasn't hip to certain stuff like I wasn't introduced to in, like Louis Vuitton and all. I wasn't I didn't even know what the shit was to be honest I wasn't introduced to it until later on in life I was in my 30s so the fun police had bought me my first Louis bag and it was like a three thousand dollar crossbody and I remember the lady who what found out <laughs> the lady who found out like I bought a different person I was like yeah my first person such such she was like oh he went big she's like most people first Louis is the speedy, the speedy. yeah that's hey, normal I bought two of them for people as they first Louis for real <laughs> I went backwards. I had like some expensive Louis, and then I got a Speedy, and then I got the Neverfull. Yeah. I went oh, yeah. backwards. Yeah, had the, that's a, a famous dupe, that Neverfull. Oh, yeah. But I still, I still want a Speedy, too. Oh, I, I have a, a white one. But um, so I went to Creve Corps Park. I was heavy into fitness. I was competing, and I was doing cardio because I was cutting weight. And my daughter was at cheer practice. So I would drop her off at cheer, and then I will go to Creve Corps, Creve Corps Park to do my cardio. Left, took the purse off, tucked it in the back seat of my truck, went for a run, but I didn't run that long because I, I had to go back and pick her up from practice. So within a 30 minute time span, somebody had got my purse, made it to Walmart, tried to swipe it for like $800 or something. Yes. So as I'm walking back to my car and I'm like seeing my truck and I'm walking towards it, I get a text message from MX talking about a charge, you know how I like yes. send you and say such such charge, and is this you? Yeah, and I'm like <laughs> looking, no. right? I'm looking at it like, huh? And but I'm still walking towards the the truck, and like it still didn't dawn on me until I got to the driver's side and saw they had busted out the window wow. and stole my purse. And of course, it was replaced by yeah. insurance. I mean, I still had cash in there. I had credit cards. I had birth certificates. I mean, not birth certificates, but social, social security, security cards, driver's license. So it was a, a hassle to, to get replace. All this stuff over. Yeah. You can lock the cards. Too. Yeah, true. I definitely put my expenses on there. So yeah. In case anybody, anybody come in the house <laughs> and, get, and get through that fingerprint lock. <laughs> <laughs> or I kick in the door. Oh, it's not my spirit. Really? Because I, I got this big old house and then yeah. it's just me and daughter. It's just that us. Would be and scary. she's gone three or four days of the week. That so would be scary. I would think that you got I got arm? cameras everywhere. You got yes. Okay, good. Alarm cameras. You need a dog. Get a Bentley. No, don't get a Bentley. Get a Cairo. No huh? I need no dog. I tried to get a dog before. I get. I get. <sighs> Hell, I can't say that. <laughs> it almost passed like the first week I had it. Are you serious? I fell asleep with it outside and it got too hot. Oh, yeah. I had a and dog. It was, it was a puppy and it got too hot. And then I just stopped hearing it bark and I'm on the couch sleep. But I'm like, yeah. it was pee everywhere. So I'm like, I'm just put you outside. Yeah. And I woke the head up just hot. Yeah. Like, so then I had to spend $800 on this um, veterinarian bill, all that other stuff. It was a mess. But I ended up giving him away like probably a month or two later. What kind of dog was it? A shorty, shorty. Sorry, oh. Bruno. <laughs> oh, his name was Bruno. And then, like, daughter, like, she wanted a dog so bad. So I'm like, oh, this is her birthday present. Yeah. Her dog. 
didn't play with it, was scared on the couch. This was a baby, so he's like bite, doing a little bite yeah. and stuff like that. So she was like, no, stop. I'm scared as hell. Like, it really pissed me off how scared she was. Okay. So I just give him away. And now she keeps saying she want a dog. No. You're That's why I keep dogs. Me. And I, I'm always gone. Yeah. I'm always gone. Okay. So we have a built-in dog sitter. His name is Lyndon. Um, <laughs> since he don't go nowhere. I was, I was like, really? They live here? <laughs> We don't even ask him permission. I know this last time we was gone for a week. I know he was like, these mother... Thank you. We was looking at the cameras and he was like, come in. Again. <laughs> <laughs> they were just outside like... Where's your parents? <laughs> dee, 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 dee. He, and Bentley, he takes forever. It's like he has to find the perfect spot to shit in. It's like, it's grass yeah. everywhere. Literally, you can shit anywhere. You don't have to find a special boys, spot. It's too dry. <laughs> yeah. And he's so prissy, so he just walks around. A little prayer. So yeah, cute. but that's why we keep dogs because... Um, Especially we we're on three a little over three acres. Yes, and we don't have and our once, neighbors. Once you get to the dirt road, you know you're going somewhere nice. <laughs> When I first came and looked at this house, I was like, oh, this is the wrong way. <laughs> and where you come in at, it was cows right there. Yes. They have cows, but they probably don't have them in that, that grassy area right now. Like four I was like, yeah, I was like, this can't be the... I had stopped. I was like, hold on, I'm going the wrong way. They real skinny. Like, two people can't go at the same time. I'm like... I wanted a, a dog for the aesthetic. That's how I knew I was doing it for the wrong thing. And Anything you get a big for the dog. aesthetic, I was doing it for the wrong thing. Yeah, I've done some stuff for that reason. Um... <laughs> I can't remember what it was. I almost let them bully me into buying a Tesla before. Um, I wanted a Tesla so bad. Thank my friend Kimani, the problem she had with her Tesla. Yeah, I. I was so happy I never got a Tesla. Oh my yeah, gosh. I'm not in with the electric cars yet. Not yet. I ain't sold on it just yet. I barely get gas. <laughs> oh, me either. I can go two weeks I, without gas. I, I don't go nowhere. So yeah, I, like it's easy. So, but charging a car, I forget. I will go, I will come home and then get back in the car three Dead days battery. later and be like, shit, I can't go nowhere. So mm-hmm. I've been um, bullied into getting my side two, three plays. Actually, I wasn't bullied. It was always in. Really? I'm getting them done in April when I'm off my cleans and pay for stuff. Ooh. I can't wait. I'm just like, what's up, footy? <laughs> 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 ain't gonna see nothing but teeth who that coming Girl, I went, but see I, I guess I really wasn't I think I say I was bullied because I never realized that people noticed <laughs> until social media so everybody hey, yeah, they all be about yeah. Yeah, just, matter yeah. of fact when I had did my unboxing of my Chanel bag somebody was in the comments was like mm a Chanel but missing your side tooth and it was like bitch I am in the Invisalign trying to correct my overbite first like give me a minute yeah yeah Yeah. so I was like okay they can they can tell let me hurry up and (laughs) get this down too it was two of them but I mean I bet you hoes can't go and pay 10 grand for two teeth but I'm just saying not to be (laughs) but for real fuck (laughs) now what the Chanel and my now I'm next. I be having to talk my. It, it's like, oh no. I be having to talk my shit sometimes. I love it though. I be having to. I love it though. When you have to shut, when you have to shut certain people um down when they try to come for you. I'm so non confrontational. I'm not. I am <laughs> I really. I am so unproblematic. I, like when people say stuff in the comments, go to their page. Mm. Well. <laughs> And I got a whole thing to say. I, I just do you do it all the time, or do you ignore some people? It depends on if it kind of hurt my feelings. If, if if I feel like they ate me up, now I gotta eat you back up. If they said something I heard before, I'd be like, Yeah, don't worry about that. Right, right, Whatever. right. Me, it depends on the time that I'm on. Like if I'm like if I got time for it, I might respond. But if I'm really, but I make sure I comb through comments. Like yeah. I ain't let no comment going hmm. unseen. Sometimes I might delete it. Like I know. Oh my gosh, when I first um, did my, I got a tummy tuck in lipo. Ah, tummy like, tuck. Yeah, the loose skin had to go. Right. Damn you, daughter. That's why I don't want another kid. I swear to God. If I have another kid, I can't, I can't go through that process anymore. But everybody kept saying, this one girl made an entire video about me lying about just getting a tummy tuck and said I really got a BBL. You can tell who has a BBL, and you can tell what's natural, what's not natural. Your your body is natural. Even even me looking at you, even with a tummy tuck, knowing that you had a t- yeah. tummy tuck, you still look super natural. I was, I was like petite, so that's why that, that part of my stomach bothered yeah. me. Yeah, but it was the she when she was recording videos, she wasn't sitting down. 
she was always standing up. And I'm literally like, I'm sitting down in every video. Like, right. She made a whole video, like, yeah, yeah like 200 some comments because everybody was like, you're a drove. She did this. Like, people from my um, recovery oh, yeah. home was in the comments. Yeah. Like, she just got to Yeah. Like, yeah. And instead, she just, instead of just deleting the video, she just turned the comments off. And then she eventually deleted the video. But Hater. Like, oh, people are like, you got a BBL, can't tell. You wasted your money. I'd be like, Damn. <laughs> See, I got a I got an ongoing joke where I say that I have I had a BBL. Oh, like when people say stuff I do like go along with it sometimes. Yeah, so I haven't done a video <laughs> in a while, but I have an ongoing joke where I'll be like, Yeah, just showing off the BBL or BBL or yeah, it's it's I've never had a BBL. I wish. You wish real? No. <laughs> so, like cause yeah, I don't without the actual surgery, like Yeah. I'm okay with the natural with my natural petite. But yes. um, it was. I'm with you. It was just my stomach area. I, I had lipo. My hip dips feel too. I got bad hip dips. I do bad. Yeah, They're not that bad. But no more. See, but. when I had my lipo, I feel like on one side they took the lipo down and stopped, but on the other side they took it down further. So yes. I feel like I'm a little lopsided. That's probably what they did because I feel like they could have took mine down first. Yeah, to even to even the transition out instead of it being like this and then it feel like. It's a little yes. Before that's what making me cause see my hip dips more. Cause they, they didn't go down. Yeah, and then he didn't do enough in my lower back, so I'm definitely that's having why I around to my sides, back, and then the tummy tuck. Yeah, I'm definitely getting around to. Let's go together. I'm down. <laughs> Let's I'm, go together. I, I really did want another round of life. Well, I just want them to fill in my hip dips. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't want the big old, but it's why. No, I don't like, either. BB, I don't want a BB. I just want my hip dips filled. Yeah. Where we going? I was thinking. I, we, uh, <laughs> Listen, I am <laughs> shit whenever. Hell. I'm just after my birthday. When when is your birthday? May 16. I'm going to Cancun. Ooh. Supposedly. Ooh. I haven't paid for that yet, but Are you are you going with other girls or Yeah, um my my sister's birthday is May 19th, so we are okay. a year and three days apart, so we just gonna kinda celebrate together. Okay. And then um so far I know for sure it's gonna be my, my cousin. He's a guy. He's gay. Okay. I, I, I don't know if that matters. <laughs> I do the same thing. I got a brother that's gay. And I, every time I say, I'm like, he's gay. Like, they be in the comments like, is your brother single? He's gay. Like, he is not checking for you, honey. He's gay. I got April. My friend is going to uh, Mexico for her birthday. Well, she don't know where she's going. So, that's right out of my cleanse. Yeah. Like, right out, when I get off my cleanse. You going? You turn it up? As soon as I get out that week, that week I'm going to L.A. to a Clippers game. Me and my friend goes, sit courtside. Ever since I said courtside one time, I, would, I can't go back. <laughs> Really? It is I've so, never been to a game. Oh my gosh, you gotta go to a game. I need to. The course is just, everything is free from the food, the Are liquor. you serious? Yes, and then they, they come on a court actually or order. Like, Are you wow. I cannot wait. Like and that was I went to Atlanta Hawks last year. Um the basketball game. I went to Atlanta Hawks. And it was I was so drunk that I don't really I don't <laughs> even know who played against them. Like I'm not gonna lie, but I love I, it. That's because I didn't eat before I got there late. So I got there while the game was already starting. Yeah, yeah. Like it was just tried to drive. Yeah, it was too much traffic. But this time we go to the Clippers game. This is my first time in LA for myself. Okay. And we just gonna go. Turn up. And then the tickets was cheap. Like the ones in Atlanta were yeah. probably like almost twenty five hundred dollars for two people. Are you serious? But the ones we just did for the Clippers, yeah, they're just like six hundred dollars, probably like tax okay. like seven fifty. Okay, that's not bad for food, drink. That's not bad. Everything is probably it's so. And I looked up, I was up your TikTok, <laughs> Clippers courtside, uh, like and you just trying to see people, Um, April fifth through the eighth. That's fun. I can't wait. That's when next time ask me. Oh, so. absolutely. <laughs> when is when when is because the season is always over, like. Towards my cleanse. That's why. But if if it's another game, yeah, just, um, what? I'm looking at my watch like the it's game. Like, 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 like it's on the light. Like, let me see. Like, no, like let me know. Me. I am down. I'm always Where looking I for. That week? Well, I don't have nothing to do that the, the weekend after that. I'll okay. Going to New York possibly. We could find a game. Okay, let oh, me know. Possibly. Let me know. I am down to freaking go. Yes, uh, <laughs> love this. You gotta find a good good spot. Like you got a favorite basketball team? No. 
You don't care. Me either. I'm so lame. <laughs> I don't care. I'm so <laughs> I don't lame. care about the sport. I'm oh. a track and field. We're a track and field family. Oh. Crazy. Because we sit and watch track and field on the TV and stuff. Like my husband. Really? You know I have how, never seen somebody watch track it, and Exactly. Field. Like my husband, he's, that's his thing. And he used to like know when the, the meets were coming on on TV. And it was like. How, like, where is this information <laughs> like, posted? How, like, how are you, you get notifications. <laughs> right, yes. Society. So we're tracking field people. So we sit and watch. I know it's lame as hell, but. It's, it's really not. I mean, I'm not Shikari. <laughs> I know. Like, you're not Shikari. come through. Because even when you watch it, like, little small clips. Yeah. You're like, it's intense. It, it is intense. Like, I see it. Yeah, we went to, um, well, we didn't go, but it's a, a gr- another young girl. She's in college. Her name is Destiny that we try to support. She runs for Texas Tech. So we was watching her meet on on the TV because we couldn't make it. I'm trying to make it to her meet, but it's hard because I have two daughters that travel for track. Yeah. So it's like I be wanting to make it to it. So I watched it on TV and the, the guy's hurdle race uh, went and the cameraman like kept the the uh, camera on them. Cause they do that, like yeah. after you win, they kind of like follow you around or whatever. And they were beefing. They I love were it. they were beefing. So I made a TikTok. I'm like, what was the, what was the beef? What was y'all talking about? So like all Where's the people, the microphone people. Exactly. I'm like the cameraman was was it was either he was messy as hell or he didn't understand what was going on. Yeah. Cause like one of the guys was like. Like doing this, like talking. The other dude was kind of like had his finger in his face. Then another dude was trying to hold him back. He and probably didn't know what was going on. So that's probably why I was doing this. So he probably like, what, what is this? So as soon as one of the guys put his ha- finger up in the other dude's face, the camera just like it just went black. He's like, oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. Was they black? Yeah. Ah, camera went black. They was black. I was like, I yeah. love it. I love it. Track and field needs some more, some more you like, know. That's why I like going to hockey games. Like, I ain't never went to no hockey game. It's a blues game. No, that's why. Like, why? Why, yeah, why? And I went because I had some free tickets. Really? I didn't have them. Somebody else had them. <laughs> or it's like, it's <laughs> great. It's great to like see like Angel Reese when she, when she playing. That's it's like, girl. that's, it's Ooh. like, yeah, go off on her. Yes, who you talking to? What she do? What she say the other day? She was like, who? What she say? Who you talking to? Like I was reading her lips. Yes. and she's like, you ain't talking to me. She's all five star. I love you. Her uh, boyfriend is my cousin. Who? Her boyfriend Cameron is my cousin. <laughs> Only reason why I'm laughing. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I feel like I know why you laughing. No. <laughs> No, I feel like I know. What you're I know. One. I am really, really close to somebody that had a little situation. Oh, recently. Well, not recently. I would say within the last, probably right around the time that him and Angel started, like went public. I think I know what you're talking about. Okay. I, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, I ain't gonna say. I ain't gonna say much. That was the person that I was like. She has a lot of tea, and I was gonna do a podcast with her, oh. but we was like. Hold on, because I'm like, this is going to bring a lot of attention, and not in a good way. Yeah. yeah. And it might go viral. I definitely know what you're yeah. talking about. Yeah, and she was like, yeah, it's not worth it, because she was like, what am I gaining from it? Popularity, but she was like, I don't I don't need this. So I was yeah. like, yeah. Especially, yeah. Yeah, so my, my, <laughs> yeah. Real, my real close friend, because when it went public, I was like, hold on. <laughs> I text her, I was, was like... like <laughs> I knew they had known each other for a long time, so it wasn't surprising, but okay. I, I, w- I was aware of that situation. So. Got you. <laughs> it's messy as hell. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> it was so messy. That's my girl, though. That's my girl. <laughs> so, yeah, I didn't know that was your cousin. That's dope. <laughs> like, how, like, is y- y'all parents related? Oh, well, you know how you grow with somebody for so long, y'all cousins? Got like, you. Like, all of my cousins that I was out of town with recently for, like, for the holidays and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, man, that do be hard to explain. You know, you just grow up in the same church. Okay, I got you. <laughs> so, I got you. Everybody cousins. I got you. Okay. We're, we're all, like, very, very close. Like, okay. Okay. Very close. Like, you <laughs> wouldn't know. Some of us look alike. It's weird. Because we're not <laughs> like, really related. Like, got you. His, his sister, everybody always tell, say me and her look alike. So, it's kind of really? crazy. Really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't even know he had a sister. I didn't know who he was. Yeah. For, I mean, of course, because his my husband knew who he was and my nephew knew who he like other people knew. I'm just, you know, in La La Land and I don't follow those sports. So <laughs> I didn't know until she started posting. So that's when I started putting two and two together and then that's when it went 
public yeah. and I called her. I was in Houston when I found out and I called her and I'm sitting in the mall in, in Houston in the car on the phone with her for like an hour while she's like spilling all the tea. I'm like, what the f <laughs> I was like, girl, we need to go on the podcast. <laughs> And she was like, I'm down. I was like, hey, I fly I back tomorrow. <laughs> I will get my equipment and fly back to, to where you at. And we finna do this podcast. So <laughs> I'm glad we didn't. Oh, my God. I'm glad we didn't. Oh, oh, I don't know what happened. <laughs> All right. That's why I'm supposed to end up. Um, I'm supposed to be with Angel sometime in April. Because our birthday's around the same. Okay. So we're supposed to um, go somewhere that weekend. That I'm, but I don't know. It's not for sure yet. But okay. But again. And we just go to the game. We end up going to the game. So. Yeah. I, she, go to the game. I like the games. I love this one. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait till you find a the game. They they are good in person. Okay. Because you have no choice but to watch it. Yeah. Like you're right there. But yeah. yeah. Plus the drinks. Right. We got to find one. Because Atlanta Hawks food was not good. Really? So their food wasn't good. Okay. Like, and this time, the one me and my friend, we were actually on the court. Like, okay. Because they have oh, something like, you know, like a yeah. couple of those bags. Yeah, yeah. Which is still cool, but this time we... Oh, see, I'm going to have to get something to uh, step out in. Oh, I, absolutely. I, I got my outfit. <laughs> I, have, I can't get it yet because I'm on my cleanse. I can't spin. Right. But I got it in my head. I, I'll take everything out one day shipping. So April yeah, 3rd, yeah. we'll be on April 5th. So April right. 3rd at 12 a.m. <laughs> I'm going to close this video out. Make sure y'all go follow my girl Dime. Um, buy your tickets to her event. I'll have the link in the description. Uh, get yourself a bonnet, honey. Because I saw your bonnets did blow. I saw it blow up on the TikTok shop, too. Oh, yeah. I saw. Them white people be eating it up. Girl, I was like, and it was, I thought get it. Was gonna it. Be so much flack from yeah I, I just knew i was i just knew i saw it coming like when i first posted that video i was like oh they're gonna eat me up in the comments like the black people gonna come get me i but liked it instead yeah i didn't get because everybody was like yeah everybody should wear bonnets i went to a, a, a predominantly white college okay right so i was always seeing the white girls in bonnets i never really but of course Leaving Normandy, right? Of course I didn't see no white people in bonnets. I didn't see no white people, right? At like, all, literally, <laughs> literally. When I went to a PWI and I saw girls in white bonnets. So when I made the video, I didn't think about it. But I was just like, when I saw that video about the girls saying bonnets are free, I'm like, yeah, duh. People didn't know that. Yeah. They didn't know that. They didn't know this. I, Cause I did see the video, and I'm with you. Like anybody who has her, who has her, need to probably be either sleeping on a, a silk um, pillowcase or wearing a bonnet. And I know. So, yeah, cause you trying to rub I, all your little hair. Audience, get in that audience. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Cause I hate to say it, like their spending habits is totally different it's than so ours. Much quicker. Yep. We like, gotta think about it. We gotta put it in our cart. Think, think on it. Forget about it. Come back to it. Put it, in, and then you you check out and you see that six dollars shipping. You like, ugh. Yeah. Hell. Change your mind. Ooh, six dollars. Like, yeah. So wait, I'll tell you when I post that video, I got off my phone. Cause I, I got off my phone because I thought I was gonna face a lot of yeah. Black, so I'm yeah, like, I do that I too. Don't see that. I, I do that too. I do that. But too. then when I check my phone thirty minutes later, three hundred orders in thirty minutes. I'm trying to get like you when I grow up. <laughs> Like it, it, it keep happening on and off. So right. I'm trying to stay as consistent as possible. I would love it if you was in my um, commercial and photo shoot. I'm down. As, well, I'm you down. don't wear bonnets, but I'm, you have to buy it for a good week. Right. <laughs> I'm, you know what? It's just maybe I have not found the right one. Maybe that's what it is. But I haven't tried in since I was younger, and I just didn't. I just didn't like you anything think, on you know, my head. It's, it's like a texture thing. Too. You got some good acting skills. No. <laughs> No, I don't. Um, I want to do my first commercial. I have never. Well, my commercial with me rapping is different. I want to do like an actual. That'll be fun. Production. You know, another thing I want to do. I asked my husband, but he is just. He is not. He say he down, but he not down. Like he just not. <laughs> he just not with the social media thing. I'm like, let's do some skits. And he's like, okay. Knowing damn well. I can see that. I can see I doing skits. Really. Yes. I'm like, I don't know what type of skits. I'm I I don't know what I can come up with, but I'm like, we gotta we gotta spin this some way, yeah. somehow. The way like more the brand deals come is like couple stuff. Yeah. I mean, like events for couples and stuff too. Really? But I didn't even know that. Until like Keith Lee and his wife, they did this something for Super Bowl was nothing but like couples. Really? So I was like, Yeah, we yeah, I did interrupt the end. Oh no, no, okay. Let, let me end it, then we can talk about okay. it. Um 
Okay, so make sure you guys go purchase your tickets to her event, uh, purchase your bonnets, and the book is coming out, what you say, next Friday or this Friday? March 8th. March. Next Friday. It's next Friday. Mar Damn, next Friday is March 8th. Shit, the year going by so daggone Crazy. fast. So make sure you purchase your book as well and go follow my girl, y'all. Make sure you go follow her and then make sure you guys check out the weekly vlog that I just posted on Sunday and come back for the track vlog. Y'all know we do a track vlog every Wednesday, but it might be a couple of weeks because the girls don't have a track meet within like the next two weeks so y'all might have to wait on that but anyway as always until next time Bye. Bye. <laughs>